You might wonder why a lesson on the flood of Noah would be needed in a class about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, just like Noah's neighbors had time to believe what Noah told them as he built that ark and a chance to get on the ark with Noah and his family and be saved if they would only believe, we are currently living in a similar time. This time between Christ went back up into heaven after his resurrection and when he returns at the end of this age is called the church age. During the church age, we live our lives as normal, but we must be telling others about the truth of the gospel, like Noah did, because time will run out someday, just like it did for the people in Noah's day, and we don't know when. Remember how God shut the door on the ark? Can you imagine if Noah had shut the door and then heard his friends and neighbors screaming as all the chaos and terror began? I'm sure he would have been tempted to open that door up for them, right? I know I would have. Well, God controlled the door because only God can give grace to be saved to mankind. Just as God did right before the flood, He is doing now. He is offering grace to everyone who confesses they agree with Him, that they are a sinner and that they believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to earth as a perfect human to be the ultimate sacrifice to take away their sin and declare them righteous. We have that grace offered right now. One day, Christ will return to judge the sin of those who refuse His grace. It will be destruction worse than the level of the flood, and time will be up. Or as the Bible says, it will be unlike anything ever before. We will talk more about the gospel in detail in our next lessons, but I want to offer you the opportunity right now to confess that you are a sinner and to repent of your sin and believe in Jesus Christ today, because we don't know when time will be up. I'm going to pray out loud, and if you want to confess to God that you believe what Jesus did for you and why he did it, you can pray along with me in your head. Dear God in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge to you that I am a sinner, and I am sorry for my sins and the life that I have lived. I need your forgiveness. I need your grace. I believe that your Son, Jesus Christ, shed his precious blood on the cross and died for my sins, and I am now willing to turn from my sin and live for you. You said in the Bible that if we confess the Lord our God and believe in our hearts that God raised Jesus from the dead, we shall be saved. Right now, I confess Jesus as my Lord. With my heart, I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead. This very moment, I accept Jesus Christ as my own personal Savior, and according to His Word, right now, I am saved. Amen. If you prayed that prayer today, you need to tell someone. You need to let them know, because they want to, someone who also believes, they want to pray for you, and they need to help you grow further in your relationship with God.